Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. What's going on, everybody? As you can see in the title, we're here to talk one of our favorite shows, Below Deck. This is Sailing Yacht, Season 4, Episode 7, Smoke on the Water. A apropos title, Brian. This is not the first, but the second time in four charters that the engine has, in all intents and purposes, been on fire. Now, there were no live flames, but when there's smoke, it's a fire to me. Uh, this time it was the turbo, which is a piece of the boat. Here's your fun boat fact today. It's supposed to compress the air, blah, 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 blah. If it doesn't do that, you don't get good engine pressure, not sailing leakage. And we saw the oil leaking and that's where the smoke came from. Um, Brian, before we dive, dive into the resolution, what do you think of the Parseval three engine right now? I think this, this has got to be the last season for this boat, right? It's, it's got to go. And the, the, MVP of the whole season, no matter what happens next, it's got to be Colin. Like this boat would be on the on the ocean floor if he wasn't he wasn't here. They have more barnacles than the Titanic right now. Yeah. Captain Lee would be like the, the the dude going down with the ship, except there was no way he would. Captain go Glenn. No, yeah, Cap- Captain Lee. I think Captain Lee would go down with this boat. Yeah, well, he can't move right now, but yeah. <laughs> That's pretty true, but no, no, Glenn, no. Glenn would be the first person off the boat. He'd push Daisy out of the way, and he'd hop right on the boat. Um, big props to to Glenn for giving the interior and Aisha credit this week. All of you sit there, he's like, they heard my my criticisms and my advice, and they're doing way better. I'm really proud. Note that he actually didn't tell them yet that he was proud of them. He just told the camera. Right. He had some funny moments this episode. Like, just he's he was a taxi driver today, pretty much. Yeah, he's like, all right, guys, I'm going to drive you, pick you up, drop you off for dinner. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, dad, Glenn. Then we saw Glenn hanging out, Glenn trying to text. I like how they won't give the name of the dealership. So it's like parts mm-hmm. dealer one, parts dealer fake. two. Fake, complete fake, fake conversation. Yeah. It's like, you're going to tell me that they don't have one person they go to for their parts. That's nuts. And, and can't Glenn just go to that dinner? Like, it's even, it's weirder to me that he doesn't go to these dinners. Like, no one even asked them, like, hey, do you want to join us? It's in just the comments like, below, what is Glenn doing with his time off? He's what is he playing? Candy Crush on the iPad? I mean, maybe it we but... dude. Maybe he's playing Breath of the Wild. You know, he was getting ready for yeah, right. the Tears of the Kingdom to come out. So he was just yeah, right. he was getting his uh Sheikah, his his Korok <laughs> seats. I don't think so. Um so yeah, so the boat breaks again. The new turbo arrived from Amsterdam. And like I you noted, Colin does fix the boat again. Uh the guests, big Jim. The uh, return guests from last season. They're very chill, very not complaining about the boat, not being able to do anything the first time. They did get it out far enough for them to be able to do everything, like the water sports, mm-hmm. at least they didn't get to go to a, a beach or anything, but way better than the people that were just stuck on the dock in the first charter. Yeah, 100%. And it's funny that the super rich dude like gets lucky. It would be nicer, honestly, if the first yeah, the, uh, yeah, the trip of the life. This guy doesn't need it. I mean, he like we said in the pre-show, he's bouncing around on boats. Like this guy's like he was like rich. on multiple yachts already this yeah. season. Like, why is he wasting his money on this? Like, he's going to bed at ten. So much money, Brian. This guy's yeah. got so much money. His he bed's just it, yeah. He it, just it, sleeps it, on a it, pile it, of money. It's like me going and buying one of these Sega games. Like when I've just had a long day at work, you know, I'm gonna go buy his fifty dollars games. I feel like it, right? This guy's like. I'm going to go get a couple $60,000 yachts, like trips in a week. He's like smog. He's got that much coin. I love the smog. I, I can, We need some reality guys smog shirt, honestly. Maybe we just get reality guys with like the Hobbit writing, but it's just <laughs> reality guys and it's the dragon. I don't know. Wrapped, in, wrapped with guys. smog. Um, people in the comments, below, if you're a graphic designer, let us know. We're always Shut these more. nerds up. We're always looking for more. Um. Colin and Daisy do make up, though. She does complain still about feeling like the interior is going to have a lot of pressure. They did not get a lot of pressure put on them this week. Jim and them are really, really nice. This is a bye week, pretty much for everybody. Yeah, Aisha did the uh, classic family style, which is definitely the chef doing the punt, but, like, they all love it. I would not be down for that if I was on a yacht. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not getting family style. You are cooking me some, like, entree I can't get somewhere. Fair, but that, the food today, I was like, I want that. It all looked amazing. No, I love octopus. The food's going to be good. But I know, saying, but it like, just looked visually good to me. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. It's all, all this is a waste of money. Yeah, it's a well, complete waste of money. Is, is, and it's not a game show for money. It is the yeah, bust yeah. out another thousand. This is literally what that show is. That's how the, the engine goes. They just shovel money into it to like keep the, the <laughs> fuel of it going. Tons money. <laughs> um, 
Um, I would say the LVP of this episode, Alex. Yeah. Um, slacking. this has been coming though. He's been slacking for a while. Chase covered for him the first like three charters, and now enough is enough. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like our 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 not friend Gary when he goes to tell Alex next week is going to say that Chase was livid and talking crap when he wasn't talking crap. He actually didn't even really want to tell on him. Gary's just not the, a good dude. He sucks. He completely sucks. Not a good dude. Shade on Jim for like, oh, I can't. I'm so glad to see Gary. It's like, ooh. ooh. Also, like, like the that. hate on Chase. Like all the, like I guess next week though, it does look like he starts to be a little drunk and douchey, but the women are icked by Chase. Like they got the ick for Chase, like dead up. And so next week it looks like we get a little bit of that, like when they're out at dinner. But yeah. so far, I wouldn't have seen anything to present the ick that they have for him. But I don't know. I, I He's just a tad know. awkward. But uh, you think? Whatever. Also, yeah. <laughs> um, we talked about Gary. Gary Mads hook up again. So she says she's not into it, but then she tells him he, they, she is, and they do make out. That uh, thing in the bridge was a total misdirect. That they were there for like five seconds. So I am glad that he didn't actually try to like mm-hmm. hook up, hook up in the bridge it's so funny that it's like the exact same thing that ross with last season like these girls like i'm done i'm done i'm done they just keep coming right back and they come right suckers um yeah like i said next week it looks like they're gonna have the talent show the big gym talent show too so that'll be the first big gym talent show (laughs) brian shaking his head that we're reviewing i really hope there's some big fights coming because this season is turning to pc we need we need some drama i need the boat to sink like why wouldn't they just let the boat sink they were tilting hard today on the sailing. Why I, that does was he cool. do that, dude? I think that they like it. I think yeah, the well, guests I, like it. No crap, the guests like you know, destroys the inside of the boat. I mean, <laughs> give them a heads up. <laughs> the kitchen just gets like all the cutting boards are flying all over the place. The knives, ladles, she ladles. Tie one knife off. Someone's dead. Like, Thank God she's not in there. Where like she would get like crushed or impaled by all these things. Definitely has been in there though when it's happened. So yeah, it's like he, he's got to stop. <laughs> Um, it's the only thing he knows how to do. It's nearly the, yeah. I mean, overall, Brian, like it's been a funny, it's been a mixed charter season. So two out of the four charters, there has been engine failure. Um, next week we look to have some more drama, but looks like not from the charter guests because again, Big Jim and Co are great. If you are a fan of Bravo TV, then you probably are a fan of Vanderpump Rules. We have been covering all the Vanderpump Rules episodes since the finale of the season. We're doing news stories, so look out for more of those videos. Uh, The three-part reunion starts on Wednesday. Our review will be out Wednesday night. Uh, But we also, the next video you will see that was the video before this one will be our review of the Randall scandal, the Randall Emmett documentary. Obviously, Lala's ex-husband, Randall, and it talks a lot about Vanderpump Rules, a lot of behind the scenes stuff about Randall that I frankly didn't know that really informs the history of the show. So if you're a Vanderpump Rules fan, I'm telling you it's a dead must watch. So check out me and Brian's thoughts there. Our review of the Vanderpump Rules uh, first episode of the reunion. Everything else we have on the channel, the 90 Day Fiance reunion has been fire so far. Check out that if you're a fan of just saucy reunions. Uh, also, Brett and Kevin have been covering Survivor and the Challenge USA just that uh, the challenge world championships excuse me just finished up this week uh challenge usa coming back in august uh look out for our coverage of big brother in august also in june stars from mars the bachelorette and claim the fame season dose but until all of that for myself and brian thank you peace